Right, this fish is from Lake Seven on the Woolpack Fishery. And it weighs uh, 33 pound 12 ounces. So you have to bear with me, myself. My uh, remote's gone. So, it's on a chod, fine chod against a weed bed. On a 16 mil vortex pop up, soaked in vortex bait glug, and then meshed up. Here's the other side, you can see the moon's coming up in the background. Full moon tonight, happy days. Look at that. Nice start, but I've got to get him back. First night back on the water. No, second night, sorry. Got here late yesterday, located some carp. Away we go. Uncle Jim's back in Cambridge, rocking and rolling. Right, full moon tonight, and uh, just a shade before dark, bang! 33 pound, 12 ounce. Footage ain't too good, but sorry boys and girls, you can't have it always good. Um, I've had another small one, I lost one as well. Not sure if it's a small one or what, on and off chod. When I checked the hook, uh, the chod, it, the point was bent over, so it meant it hit bone. So, uh, one, of these, one of these few times you lose one, what can you do sort of thing so never mind never know who cares uh, got repaid with a nice um, nice one I mean it was like really orangey the fish right yeah right brute tore off into a weed bed um, because that's what I'm fishing up against there's a, like a channel beside it right yeah where they're going in and out of um, Pulled him back out, got him through out, I had to get my chest waders on, put the rod down, um, and then played him and then bang. So happy days, I'm just gonna have to remember, instead of running out for the rods, get the chesties on first. So never mind, you know, everything's like coolie, cool, coolio. <laughs> so uh, um, I'm happy, mate, uh, you know, no more big pit, just can't be doing that next spring. Uh, maybe the odd time if it's like weather weather conditions are really really good but you know I've been here 24 hours had three bites two fish that hasn't done a fish so I've been told for three months so you know they like the bait vortex from sticky bait sweet as a pea um, back on the running chods so no dark dark side rigs boys and girls back on where I should be fishing doing what I should be doing um, not scratching around for bloody bites and bit fishing I will go back to it. I'm only having a laugh if you're all, so you can all have a laugh with your mates about it, right? Yeah, but um, all four rods just on the old running chod. Like I said, it's a full moon tonight. Hopefully, before I go tomorrow about 10 o'clock, um, I'll be back. I'm going to put about 10 kilos in and then um, be back Sunday, sort of like afternoon, get the rod straight back on the spots. I know what I'll be doing, just casting singles, maybe seven round each, lucky seven. Uh, just to see what happens first. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, I'm meeting, uh, meeting up with a mate of mine, right, yeah, to do a bit of work on the book. So that's going to be in full swing. This is only 105 miles from my home instead of 170. So uh, it's, it's a lot easier road. So I'm going to be hanging around here until, well, for a while. Um, keep the bait going in. Fish probably sitting 50, maybe more. So um, God knows what's going to happen later. Someone else coming up now. I'm legging it right again, hiding everything up because I don't really want anyone to know for a few days. Check your latest, bye. Right, it's just after the first light. Winds change round. It's blowing straight in this bank. So the far side is like calm. So basically where my baits are, I'm just on the, the area where the water hits. So you can see it's not a massive lake. It goes down there a little bit. It's long and thin. 
it's lake seven on the wall pack so i'm going to load this up soon um, i had one slight line up just after dark i sat up a bit last night um not a great deal showing the odd one see a lot of ripples coming in so yeah it could have been them or it could have been birds there's a couple of swans around here so they're going to send that about the old ripples uh, like I said I had a little liner just after dark um, very quiet the only fish I really did see were like to my left in the next swim I'm not going to bait that um, I might have just pushed them away just just through like hooking sort of free and like you know sort of like drove them away a little bit but I'm just going to because they, they picked bait up here and the other ones have seen it and they've been around their mates that got hooked um, just going to keep the bait in this zone so Monday's going to be Monday and Tuesday there's going to be like hardcore on the book so I'm meeting up with someone uh, get on with that get here Sunday afternoon late afternoon fuzzers rod straight out like I said yesterday I'm just going to put singles maybe with seven round it just see what happens first so I'll keep try and keep you posted next week what's going on but you know as, as you can imagine I've got to get like a load of work done on this book so uh, I'm going to be concentrating on that a bit more now so see you later anyway I've got to pack up and like leg it home now <clears throat> I wonder what's in store for me next week See you soon, boys.